It is Thursday, March 18. Welcome to CGN News. Protesters freed four police officers from behind bars in Haiti's capital on Wednesday, local media reported, as demonstrations over a botched police raid on a gang stronghold and anger at state authorities roiled the city for a fifth day. Masked, heavily armed members of the Phantom 509 group, who described themselves as disaffected police officers and ex-officers, told local media they believed their colleagues had been unjustly detained in a Port-au-Prince police station. The officers, with aid from civilians, set a police station ablaze and also looted a Nissan auto dealership. They had earlier marched to police headquarters to demand that the bodies of five officers killed during a botched raid last week be recovered from the gang still holding them. Political strife in Haiti has deepened as the opposition claims Moise's five-year term has expired and told him to step down on February 7. The Martinique government has suspended the use of the Oxford-AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine following the lead of France and several other countries that have taken the step after some people who got the jab developed blood clots. Health officials in the French overseas territory say none of those who've been vaccinated there have had any serious adverse reactions. However, the decision followed the announcement by French President Emmanuel Macron that France would stop administering the shot. France is awaiting word from the European Union's medicines regulator. A decision is expected today, Thursday, the CMC has reported. British drug regulators and AstraZeneca executives insist there is no link between the vaccine and a higher incidence of blood clots. IGL, Jamaica's sole supplier of medical oxygen, says there has been an almost 500% increase in demand for medical oxygen at some hospitals over the last three weeks. Peter Graham, the company's managing director, told The Observer that IGL's technical teams have been working with hospitals to modify supply configurations to cope with the increased demand. According to IGL, as the majority of hospitals in Jamaica have required increased delivery of supplies of medical oxygen since February, the company has been responding with urgency to meet the demand created by the rising number of COVID-19 cases. Jamaica recorded 821 new COVID-19 cases on Tuesday, bringing the total number of cases to 32,728. Police in Jamaica seized more than 30 million Jamaican dollars worth of counterfeit Puma and other brand name shoes in an ongoing crackdown by the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigation branch. Two stores were raided and the owners of the fake goods taken into custody. Assistant Superintendent of Police Victor Barrett told the Jamaica Observer that the operation was the second of its kind since the start of the year with more than 50 million Jamaican dollars worth of counterfeit items confiscated so far. Illicit trade in counterfeit goods, according to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, was valued at 509 billion U.S. dollars in 2016. ASP Barrett noted that the practice of selling fake goods has become a lucrative business in Jamaica. The Bahamas is on TripAdvisor's list of 10 slowest growing destinations for Americans. The ranking is according to the travel website's most recent review of travel trends for the period between March 1, 2021 and May 31, 2021 and based on volumes of searches for the destination on a year-on-year -year comparison. TripAdvisor's data shows that more Americans are interested in traveling again compared to this same time last year when the COVID-19 pandemic put a veritable stop to travel. The data reveals that one-third of Americans are interested in visiting sunny locales within the continental United States, Mexico, and areas of the Caribbean. Tanzanian President John Magufuli has died aged 61 from a heart condition, his vice president said in an address on state television Wednesday after days of uncertainty over his health and whereabouts. She said Magufuli had died of a heart condition which he has suffered for a decade at a hospital in Dar es Salaam. 
He had first been briefly admitted to the Jakaya Kikwete Cardiac Institute on March 6, but was subsequently discharged. Magufuli had again felt unwell and was on March 14 rushed to hospital. A vocal COVID-19 skeptic, Magufuli had last appeared in public on February 27, and top government officials had denied that he was in ill health, even as speculation swirled online that he was sick and possibly incapacitated from the disease. Russia has recalled its Washington ambassador for talks to prevent the, quote, irreversible deterioration of relations with the U.S., end quote. The government said Anatoly Antonov had been called back to Moscow as U.S. ties had reached a, quote, blind alley. The move came after President Joe Biden said Vladimir Putin would pay the price for allegedly election meddling. In an interview with ABC News, Biden confirmed he thought the Russian president was, quote, a killer. Biden had been commenting on an American intelligence report that suggested Mr. Putin had authorized an interference campaign in last November's presidential election in the U.S. The report accused Russia of trying to sway the election in favor of former Republican President Donald Trump, who was defeated by Biden, a Democrat. Donald Trump's net worth slipped to $2.3 billion, suffering an estimated loss of $700 million during his time as president, according to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. The COVID-19 pandemic hit his fortunes hard, with Mr. Trump's office buildings, branded hotels and resorts losing revenue and falling in value. His fleet of planes and golf courses have also seen drops in their value. Trump is currently under a criminal investigation into his financial affairs and his family business. Bloomberg analyzed financial documents and other filings from May 2016 and January 2021 to calculate Mr. Trump's wealth before and after he became U.S. president. The creative director for Tokyo's Olympic ceremonies has resigned after making a pig reference about a plus-size Japanese comedian in the latest headache for organizers of the virus-delayed games. Hiroshi Sasaki announced his decision to quit after it was revealed he had proposed the popular entertainer Naomi Watanabe appear at the opening ceremony as a, quote, Olympig. A local magazine reported that Sasaki had made the suggestion involving Watanabe last year proposing having the entertainer appear as an Olympic wearing pig ears. The suggestion made in a group chat was immediately rejected by Sasaki's colleagues, who told him it was inappropriate. The row comes not long after Tokyo Olympic chief Yoshiro Mori resigned after saying women speak too much in meetings. That's it for CGN News. I'm Scott Wilson. Thanks for watching.